So I was watching this video. I believe this took place in Tennessee. So you have an officer responding to a call that there were two people that potentially were going to jump off a bridge. You know, what? if that was the case, it was never proven, but they, they were, you know, pretty much on the ledge of a bridge. And um, someone made a call to 911, you know, potential suicide. So anyway, when the officer gets there, the guy seems to be, there's a guy and a girl there, a, guy, a man and a woman. He seems to be on top of the woman. Now, it's unclear if he's beating her, you know, by looking at the footage, I couldn't tell. But it definitely see, seems to me that both of them were on the floor. I I was listening closely. I heard yelling and sh screaming. It, it's, it sounded like the woman was in distress. Again, you know, it's physically impossible for me to know this because it was blurry. But, you know, this is what the officer reported. And, you know... I am, I'm led to believe that he's telling the truth because you do see that the man seems to be on top of the woman. So again, we'll just say alleg allegedly beating her. I don't know for a fact. So I'll say alleged, okay? But now, you have another situation. The officer determines the guy has a knife. He has a knife, a weapon. Now, he doesn't want to give the weapon up. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. That means the officer's life, as well as this innocent female's life, is, is now in danger. Because if you do have a situation, I mean, the guy's attacking this woman. He has a knife. He seems to be, you know, he, he just, again, I say alleged, but he, the woman also, both the woman and the man, the man did not seem mentally stable to me. They seemed, you know, very unstable. Again, this is subject to my opinion. Um, alleged, I'll say, of course, because I can't prove this, but they definitely seem to be mentally unstable. Um, they, the man, the man definitely seemed to be very, uh, like, you know, angry about something. And the woman seemed to be angry. Both of them seemed, they, they were talking over each other. So I, I don't know if this was just like a boyfriend and a girlfriend and they were having a fight. I have no idea. But anyway, long story short, the guy did not want to give the knife to the, to the officer. All right. So I feel the officer, and that, again, I'm not a police officer. I am not an attorney. This is just my opinion. Okay had every right to detain this guy. Because like I said, he's on, on top of the girl. The officer stated he was beating her. Again, I couldn't see it. It was unclear, but that's what the officer said. And uh, he had a knife. Now, the officer had every right, in my opinion, to ID this guy. Because, I mean, come on, right? I mean, want to know who this guy is. Does he have a criminal record? <laughs> Does he have a warrant? Which, again, it, it seems he might have because... He was very, very unwilling to cooperate with the officer and give any information. He was asking, what's, what's your name? He's like, I don't know. What's your social security number? I can't tell you. I don't know. Okay. So it's a guy. Now, the thing that I found very interesting was this, which kind of makes things a little juicy. When the officer said originally that the, the, the man was beating the woman, as I said, it was unclear. I could not make that determination. This was what the officer re reported. Um... The guy, when the officer found out the guy had a knife, the guy responded to the officer. The reason why he didn't want to give the officer the knife is because he did nothing wrong. Then the officer replied, did I say you did anything wrong? You're going to get the knife back. That you know, Did I say you did anything wrong? So see, see there, there's the only thing that kind of contradicted the officer's statement, in my opinion, because the officer stated the guy was beating the woman. Right. But then he said you didn't do anything wrong. He's like, did I say you did anything wrong? I just want to make sure that I take this weapon away to protect my life and, and, the, and this female's life. But but why would he say you did you did nothing wrong? If you beat up the woman that is doing something wrong. Right. So it's just I'm just saying there's just a little bit of a, of a confusion there. Again, I'm just going to say this is all subject to my opinion. I'm not taking anyone's sides. It's, it's actually very confusing. I don't, I'm just not sure of a lot of things. I don't know if the guy was beating the woman, if the guy wasn't beating the woman. I'm just saying what the officer reported, okay? Next, you have a situation where the guy has a weapon and doesn't want to give the officer the weapon. Now, I'm very, I'm very surprised that the officer wouldn't, like, draw a weapon. I actually think he would draw a weapon at this point just for the guy to at least put the knife down. You know what I mean? Just put the knife down. Because, listen, I mean, if the guy's allegedly, again, beating up this girl, the, 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 he's got a weapon. 
the officer's life is directly in danger as well as this female's life is directly in danger. So I was very, very surprised that the officer did not draw a weapon and tell him to put the knife down. Okay, so I was very, very surprised the officer did not do that. It appears that the officer actually allowed him to keep the knife, which I was a little blown away with. And the officer seemed to be more focused while this guy was carrying a knife, okay, to get his ID. Like I said, the guy was like, look, I don't know my name. He was just not cooperating. I don't know my name. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know my social security. So it appears that the officer made the determination to arrest him, which I don't think he made the wrong determination. I mean, if the guy's beating a woman, he's got a weapon that he's refusing to give to the officer. And ultimately, you know, he's not cooperating and, and not providing his ID. I think the officer has every right to arrest him. But see, now here's the thing where it got a little like uh, social media attention and where people are talking about it in a negative way of how the officer responded. Apparently the officer, when he was trying to put him in handcuffs, the guy was resisting arrest. He was resisting arrest. And it appeared that the officer got him in a chokehold. All right, so, you know, that's where it makes it, you follow me, a, a, a topic of now where people are gonna say it's police brutality, uh, brutality allegedly. Because it always brings it back to, you know, Eric Garner, God bless him and his family, and George Floyd, God, God bless him and his family, what happened to them, okay? And I am not an attorney, I am not a police officer, but I'm pretty confident you're not allowed to use chokeholds. So, you know, now, now it becomes, did the officer act in an unprofessional and in a violent way? Or did the officer do his job because he was dealing with a man who was beating a woman, had a weapon, and didn't want to provide the weapon to the officer, the knife, and didn't want to provide his ID. And then the officer placed him under arrest, but did use a chokehold. It appeared, again, allegedly, I'm just basing it on the footage that I saw to um, restrain this man in order to arrest him. So that's the thing now. Uh, it's a very confusing thing, right? Because like I said, it's my opinion. If the guy's beating up a woman, has a weapon, doesn't want to provide ID, the officer had every right to arrest him. In my opinion, again, I'm not a lawyer, not a police officer. Maybe the using of, of a chokehold that, that potentially is wrong because again, I'm not a police officer. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. But I just don't understand why he just didn't just, all he had to do was draw a weapon, right? I mean, if he has, if he has a weapon and the officer feels that his life is threatened, I'm surprised the officer did not draw, you know, draw his gun at him and say, put the weapon down. And then if anything, if he felt at that point that he, that the guy was going to, uh, in any way, shape or form, hurt him or approach him or attack him, well, then the officer had to do it, what he had to do, I would feel, to protect himself and to protect this woman. But he, it didn't appear like he did that. So the only thing that it appears the officer might have done wrong, again, it's all subject to opinion. I'm not a lawyer. I just want to keep saying that. I'm not a police officer. Was that he placed this guy in a chokehold because he was resisting arrest. What's your opinion?